got hit the record button. We're gonna do it live. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, once again, DJology family, we got Spaze here. We're gonna go over the effect sequencer within Mix Emergency. So if you don't know what that is or what it does or or anything like that, you're gonna hopefully know a little something by the end of this hour. <laughs> That's right. So for those that don't know me, my name is Spaze. I go by the name DJ Spaze. Uh, I do ride the bike. He's on the bike. You haven't seen me, uh, but uh, I also uh, DJ, uh, video DJ, and uh, I love uh, Scott King's uh, channel. Learn a lot from him. Got a lot of ideas from him. So big shout out. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I have a question rock. for you. What, what, what's your What's your background? What's your nationality? My nationality is Macedonian. So I come from Europe. It used to be Yugoslavia. Okay. And then uh, 2005, I uh, moved to the States. I oh, lived sweet. in Italy, I lived in Australia, and settled in the U.S. Went to New York, and now I'm on the West Coast. Oh, so you get around. Yeah, a little bit, with my bike. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I cycle. <laughs> you just keep cycling. That's it, we're still cycling. There it is, right behind me. Now you can see it. Boom. <laughs> That's where I record all my classes. <laughs> Do you have any shows today? Uh, I do my uh, my rides. Uh, the cycling ones are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I, I actually play uh, tonight on uh, music video DJs. I always get confused. Sometimes I see you on the bike. Sometimes I see you DJing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. My my schedule is like my main focus is actually on the cycling because uh, I'm actually making some cash, uh, making some money from the, from the cycling. Because uh, I, I told you I opened a Patreon page, so the streams I have on uh, on Twitch, I just uh, put the recordings. Um, on, a, on a drive and then in the Patreon if people don't know what Patreon is uh, it's a membership membership website where you can charge whatever you want you can charge a dollar or a hundred dollars for a certain type of membership so people can take my rides at their will so I give I do free rides every Monday Wednesday Friday but people cannot ride at 6 p.m. Pacific Coast time all of them so if they want to ride their own leisure they go to my Patreon so I charge 10 bucks a month oh, so sweet. I started I have like 10 people Hey, it's, it's a start. I still haven't figured out how to monetize the DJing online yet. So, but we'll figure that out. It's a struggle. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Until then, ride the bike. <laughs> <laughs> so keep pedaling. Was it That's Dance it. on the Pedals? Is that what you say? That's it. I call it DanceOnThePedals.com. <laughs> oh, you had a website too? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, on... it's a domain. I got it for 15 bucks. And then I just link the Patreon. So it takes you to the Patreon. Oh. But it's called... DJ, dance, dance on the that's the same thing I did with DJology, right? So I have exactly. DJ-ology.com. So it's not a website. It goes to, it no. directs you to the YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm not that, uh, yeah, I'm not that uh, knowledgeable. I know how to get the domain and link the whatever website. Oh, that's all we need to know for right now. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think I have to go ahead and give you permission to share. Yeah, go ahead. Perfect. Yeah, so, so we got what's going on, guys? We got Terry in the chat, Sean, Megan, my DJ Dan, my DJ Dan missed yesterday. So he had the he had it wrong the time. <laughs> he gets in the last ten minutes. He's like, oh man, I had it wrong. <laughs> well, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad he got the right time today. <laughs> Which one? The one for the virtual sets? Uh, the one that for Crooked Styles yesterday. Yeah, that was dope. Love yeah. it. Look Can't forward wait. to that one. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. So if yeah, you don't know when the night. What time is it? Tell him. Oh, it starts, it starts at six Eastern Standard Time until midnight. Yeah, yeah. Big shout out. Do some giveaways. It'll be fun. All right. So shall we dive in? You got you, you got the screen, buddy. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, dance. I go gallery pedals, view. Pal, dance on those pedals away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I need to do share screen, correct? Uh, yeah, there should be a menu on the bottom there. Where it's just yeah, share yeah, yeah, I see it. The desktop and share. Boom. Bam. All right. So you should be inside my uh, computer right now. Are we in there? You're seeing, yeah. You're seeing Serato? I am. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to play a little mix from you. It says DJ King. Oh, Boom. great. There it's you go. It's a 27 uh, minute mix. So we'll have this thing rolling. It's kind of funky because I also am watching what's going on on Facebook and it's like trip. It says like 20 seconds delay. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, you probably just but, want to focus on. Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> on this. So, no, because I wanted to follow the chat. Uh, Hi, V. So, here it is. We have the visuals, right? What I want to show you is how 
whatever is going on the screen, I can basically, this is my old iPad, it's a 2012 iPad. So by, by touching a button, there's a bunch of cubes, baboon. Or we can go with a little bump, light bump. You see how on the beat, just gives a little bump. I love the margins, horizontal and vertical. Just press that button. So they change on the beat. So these are like just a few Q presets that I played. Cube is one of my favorites. Uh, kaleidoscope, again, it's on the cube. And all happens with a touch of a button. So I don't buy any expensive midis. I just found this, I found it. I was actually planning on selling it, but I was like, hold on, I can actually MIDI map. And I'll show you a few more. There's the lens. There's the offset. RGB offset and uh, another crazy one. I have flying cubes and I have a stroke. A boom. And you can turn it all off by a press of a button. That's it. So just adding a little touch, let's say the drop comes and you want to go crazy, press that crazy cube button right here and there you have it. Extra effect. And so, just in case you guys weren't clear, could you just do that one more time and make your mix emergency output? full screen oh yeah or larger yeah yeah yeah. they will be able to see the zoom camera as well when i do that oh well, you don't have to make it full screen oh yeah well yeah your zoom camera will still be there yep. how about this bam there you go now it's full screen <laughs> <laughs> there okay. you go that works okay now they can see the effects okay so this one is the i call this the bloom effect you see how it glows there's a little bloom there's a bump effect it kind of bumps this is the margin effect you see horizontal vertical margins this is the inset. This is the kaleidoscope. This is the lens distortion. This is uh, RGB offset. The strobe. And the two of my favorites is the multiple cubes. As you can see, I put pixelation and zoom. And I also the flying cubes. Side, up, down, left, right. Very nice. All right, I'll turn it off and I'll go back inside the, the zoom. So, so how does it all to, work? <laughs> yeah, how does it work? That's the main question. Now I gave you, <laughs> I gave you the final product. Now how to make it work? Well, first, what we need is a mixed emergency. So I believe that every video DJ is supposed to have mixed emergencies. <laughs> That's our bread and butter. Now. Uh, in the latest, maybe even in the few versions back, there is the sequencer, but to do this, you need the sequencer. You see, um, I used to MIDI map everything, like uh, on Mix Emergency. You can see I have the text, image, video. I have every single transition and every single effect that I don't use. The only thing I need when DJing is my sequencer. That's all I need to give a little extra spice. So let's just focus on the sequencer because that's what we're going to use. Um, all right, so you can all see the sequencer here. So how when would I you press... pull that up in Mix Emergency? Like you have a couple different Mix Emergency windows. I see that you have... Yeah. yeah. This is So this is where my cursor is. That's the sequencer, right? Yep. This is uh, the... You can call it a bank of all the stuff that's in Mix Emergency. You get effects, you have a transition, text, image. So basically this is the library of all of those things. Go to sequence right here that's the sequencer sq is the sequencer and this is uh, on the right side here that's the main mix emergency thing that turns on and off certain things so i want to turn off that screen or i want to turn off the sequencer i can turn them on and off so you don't see them so those are the basic few panels that we're gonna that we're gonna use for today's demo all right so how to create something we can create something from scratch so um First things first, you go open the sequencer. We're gonna program a cube. So find the cube, rotate. So you want cube rotate. I'm gonna name it because I like to be organized. So now we have rotate here and I'm gonna program it only on the first four beats. We're gonna keep it very simple. Now. We have that program, select cube, four beats, and we'll play it. One second, let me bring back that screen.
So, when I go inside here, you see you have to start playing with some of these parameters. So, going back to the beginning, I program four beats, yes? We'll call it here. It's cube for those four beats. Yeah, yeah, I'll call it cube one. So I'm just staying organized. You can always watch the replay. I'll call it cube one and press save. This little, this, whatever it's called, floppy disk. You save it, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Why aren't you saving? Cube one and save. There we go. Now, let's go back into the sequence. And now I'm gonna spice it up. This first one is the rotate, uh, sorry, rate. So how fast do you want it to move? Right? Now, if you want it close, this is uh, super fast. The first one is the mixer. So if you want it outside, there you go, without the cube, or start adding the cube. Well, I'm gonna go full on cube, or you can even stay in the middle. Full on cube, so you can actually see what's going on. The second one is the distance. So if you want it closer or far, further away from you. So this is further and this is in your face. So let's keep it a little more distant. All right, cool. So now we have this set. So this is our base. So the whole secret here is uh, layering multiple effects. So first thing we're gonna play with, let's see. Let's go with the, let's go with the bloom. First, I'm gonna put it on the second, on the first and the third beat. So this way you can kind of see it going on every other beat. So now that I have that, I'm gonna select bloom right here. And I'm gonna, you see how it kind of blooms? Oh wow, that's cool. Right? If you put all of them, it's gonna stay blooming. If you take three of them out, it's gonna only bloom on the first beat. So I kind of like it every other beat. So just to stay organized, I'm gonna call this Bloom. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna save this right here. So now it's saved. So if I go empty, it's clean. Let's try the cube. There's a Blooming cube, right? Mm -hmm. So there's one sequence, very simple. So all I did, I put, this cube on four beats, and I programmed the bloom on other two. Uh, if you want to create something different on the fly, let's try, um, let's see what's in here. Uh, Bad TV, not my favorite, but you can see how it looks. It's all right. Um, bump, let's do the bump. We have to always play with uh, the parameters here. Yeah, I was about to say, that bump isn't doing too much bumping. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not bumping. <laughs> there you go. Now it's bumping. Now it's like really in your face. There you go. <laughs> now, the cool thing here, I don't know if it's going to change much, but you can add multiple points and you can kind of have it do some different patterns of, of bumping. And another cool thing is it doesn't have to be a straight line. If you really want to get into the nitty gritty of it, you can hold option, go over this, and you can kind of skew it, make it a little curve. What's up, DJ Decade? <laughs> so now you can really get uh, customized in these um, patterns here. So now that you, even though you're still in the first screen, you can click on another uh, empty slot here. And you can call this one Bloom. And you can save it here. So now we have two presets. So we have the empty, we have the the blooming cube, and this is the this is the bump. This is the bumping cube. That's one thing a lot of people forget. They get started and they forget to make an empty one. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. You need the empty. <laughs> because if you don't have the empty, like how are you gonna go back to normal? It's like I got all these effects, but how do I go back to my original? So that's the basics. Now from here, you can create uh, anything. Decade says, uh, can you auto-generate or randomize effects? I don't think there is a random in here. Uh, like, look, there is none, and then you have all the effects, but I don't see a random. Now you're probably thinking of watching like either Knack or Colin, and it may look random, 
but I, yeah. bet, I bet they have like a really uh, complicated. No, no. The, the, so here's how you sequence. here's how you kind of randomize it. I'll show you a preset that I have. That it it kind of looks like um, to make the way to make it random. Okay, focus on the focus on the screen here. Okay. You can make it more than four beats and then have different. Oh yeah, effects. you can exact. That's the yeah. That that was the point I was getting to. You can make it sixteen beats here, and you can make every single beat a different uh, transition, and that can be only one slot of the library. And then if you start clicking all the presets, you're gonna be like, oh, crap. Okay, look at the screen. This will be uh, this will become a little random. So. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks How like random is this? Are we random <laughs> enough? Yeah, now right. we're getting random. <laughs> right? Decade. How's that? Is that random <laughs> enough? <laughs> All right. Enough. So what I'm doing is I have my 16 or 12 uh, different uh, sequences. And I can just uh, type it in. I can just be like, OK, here we go. Here we go. Next, next 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 right and i just turn it off that's it so that's how i create my own random stuff you just have to keep playing with your fingers on it that's all yeah cool so it's, it's programmed random yeah i mean <laughs> hey we can we can talk to nick feist and be like dude we need the random button <laughs> <laughs> random fuck it we're going random. <laughs> F it. We're going random. Do it. <laughs> do, do it, it live. Do it live. Yeah. Do it random. <laughs> yeah, do it random. It's all good. All right. So those are the basic ones. If you want to get a little more um, complex, uh, let's go to the the balloon. All right. Let's make uh, let's make this one. Let's make it sixteen. Um, so you have to select here. 16. Okay, this is where you tell Mix Emergency, okay, how many do you want? I want 16. So let's let's get really creative. Now, uh, the one that I was kind of going crazy with was let's find it. It was uh, the slide. This one right here. Slide HV. That's exciting. Uh, let's see what's uh, Does this overlap random on DJ Serato? Well, everything is, uh, I mean, you're playing Serato normally. So Serato is just playing the music. This is all mixed emergency. So I don't know if that answers your question, uh, DJ Dan. Serato just plays your music. Um, let's go back to, let's uh, turn this off. Oh yeah, we're gonna show how to do the mapping, the MIDI mapping after we're done with uh, mix merge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're gonna get to that. Uh, let me just show you the the comp. The comp uh, um, basically, here it is. I'll show you first how I've done it. Um, the multiple cubes. So you see it here. Oh, so sweet. the cube. That the first one is not working. So don't pay attention. So you see, I have four channels. So I have mapped the cube. Like, take a screenshot. I don't have to show you because. It, Look what what is happening. The cube is mapped over 16 beats. The yep. first four beats, the cube goes up. The second goes left. The third four beats, oh, beats okay, goes down. And then the fourth goes uh, to get four for up, four for right, four for down, four for left. And this is how I mapped it. That makes so sense. that's uh, that's with a 16 beat uh, mapping. So all you do is. You see here the cube is mapped, and then the other four channels, I just go inside and I map these parameters here. There is the BT, whatever that stands for, I don't know. But I know that H is horizontal and B is vertical. So this is the slide, so play with the slide. What what got me inspired was uh, actually uh, Knack, because I know he plays with the sequencer. I'm like, dude, I need to get this done, because I know I've, I've been having it for the longest time, but I just didn't get to it. Another cool thing that I, my favorite uh, two cube uh, creations, one, this is one, and then the other one is the multiple, this one. So is it blooming? It's blooming, isn't so it? So you see the effects here. So again, I'm only using eight beats. Uh, let's see what that gets. So the cube does the Tootsie slide. Exactly, dude. 
You can do the Tootsie Slide if you wanted to. <laughs> the Tootsie Slide. Um, and if you put your transition logo, it's gonna uh, get inside the, the, the cube. So that's even cooler. Um, now back to this, you see this one has only eight beats. The, I use the tile rotate over every single one of them. And then I kind of sprinkle a little bit of zoom blur and uh, LED. So you see every other beat has uh, blur and every uh, after that, other beat after that has the zoom. So it goes zoom, blur, zoom, uh, I mean zoom, blur, and LED. So it goes zoom, LED, zoom, LED, right? Yeah. So that's another combination. I mean, look, the combinations are endless. You can, you can create as many as you want. It's just all about uh, playing with uh, the sequencer. Uh, thank you, Alex. Appreciate you, dude. So that's about uh, the sequencer. I think it's all clear by now, right? Thank How this is done? Sequencer. So just to recap, right? You pull up yeah. the effects sequencer, which uh, with the bottom square, it's just to recall the program that you did in the top window. Exactly. Yeah. So you turn on Serato, you turn on Mixed Emergency, you turn on the sequencer right here. This is the button for the sequencer. Okay, you want the little, the, your output here so you can see what's going on. So now, once you have created, we create uh, a sequence, right? Let's say the blue right here. And I showed you how to save it. This is over four beats and it has the effect of the bloom on every other beat. So you see the cube keeps going and then it's blooming every other beat. So make sure you save that. All right. And then uh, to turn it off, you simply go on empty. Make sure you leave one slot empty so you can go between all these presets. So this is, I mean, we can stop here and you're already uh, good to go with your DJ set. But why stop here when we can show you how to do it? And live? if anybody was wondering. <laughs> yeah, um, if the... you're wondering how to do it with a MIDI, you you need that. You can do it with an iPhone. I do it either iPhone or iPad, whatever. I, I was just going to make one quick quick uh, note. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 the effects sequencer, you see how it says one, two, three, four, five, and six across the top? And then it says one through 12 at the bottom. If you multiply those two numbers, that's how many different presets you can set for this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, that's a big number. <laughs> I'm not really good at math, but it's a big number. It's a big number. <laughs> so you're not going to run out of ideas. Yeah, you're not going to run out of options anytime soon. Trust me. Yeah, that'd and be then pretty you start random. using different videos. You start using different visuals. It's game over. <laughs> like to put pretty stuff easy. in the media bank. Yeah, so so many options. So that's basically it. You can you can go today and DJ with the sequences right now, but you're gonna have to control it manually through the tracking pad on your laptop or mouse, however you DJ. Now, if you wanna free uh, free your hand from the tracking pad, you wanna put this on uh, on a iPad. You can also do it on an iPhone, but I like the iPad because there's a little bigger buttons. It's kind of uh, uh, cramped. It's cramped up if you use the iPhone. Uh, that's when we start uh, to, we're gonna need a couple more uh, programs. So the program that I use to design this Just is- Just the car ran out? No way. <laughs> you ran out of where? <laughs> you ran out of room on the free effect sequencer. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Dude. That's awesome. Yeah, decade. It, it works. I'm sure it works on a stream deck because that's, yeah, you just plug in. But the thing with a stream deck, I don't want to spend 150 bucks if I have an old iPad lying down. So that, but um, yeah, whatever you have for MIDI, it's going to work. You just program it. What's up, Fabian? Uh, we got vandals in the building. God damn. We got Boston <laughs> in the building. Watch out now. <laughs> San Francisco. Um, all right. So, now let's go to the, the first before we media map it the second step is uh, creating a template now if you have a stream deck uh, uh, no you don't oh, yeah exactly you can use the stream deck app as well if you don't want to exactly so is uh hey yeah, Josh is uh, is the app free or you gotta pay like 10 bucks I'm not I don't know because I don't use stream deck I use this one for this type of uh, stuff I also use touch portal but that's different um, but anyway, uh, 
you're better off making your own on POS. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, hey, do it yourself. Or you can do it this way. Anyway, this is all do it yourself, by the way. Uh, let's continue. Uh, so, yes. in order to create a template, you need uh, the, for my method, you need the uh, Touch OSC editor. So, for the Touch OSC editor, I'll pull it up right here. I'll look for a link to that. Uh, I got the link ready. I'm ready. Hold on. Let me just type it in. You got the link ready? Oh come my. On, bro. I, I come prepared or I don't come at all. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Boom. So there's your Touch OSC editor. And uh, Dan is losing, uh, Dan Callen is also using his Gleamer. So there are so many options. You know, it's all about finding the one that works for you and just run with it. Like I, I started using this like uh, 2011 whenever that first uh, conference was. Oh and, yeah. Uh, the Music Video Ninja conference. I was like, okay, I need something. This is the one I'm gonna study it, learn it. And I stuck with it uh, since today. And uh, you know what? When we got uh, again on this Twitch thing, that's when I pulled it up again. I'm like, this is awesome. I can play with some effects. So what you do here, it's, almost, it's not like Photoshop, but it's even simpler. So it gives you all these uh, things here on a, on a panel. So what I'm gonna show you is pretty much how simple it is to create a button that's gonna control one of the things on uh, Mix Emergency. Touch Portal, super cheap. Developed, yeah, I use uh, Touch Portal actually for my uh, indoor cycling classes. That's how I shift my uh, scenes, transitions in uh, OBS. So I'm using that as well. Uh, by the way, Touch Portal uh, doesn't connect right away. So if you have any ideas on that, I've, I've tried uh, disabling the the antivirus and other um, firewalls. I haven't been too happy with it, but uh, Touch OSC works uh, right away. So anyway, back to this, uh, here we go. So I'm gonna open this last page. It's almost blank, because uh, I only have like few banks program, but it's as simple as you go here and uh, you can add a page or you can remove a page. It's that simple. And you can create as many pages as you want. So I'm not gonna create another page because it's, it's very simple to add a page. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this page here, that's pretty empty. And let's add, you see you have all these options. You can put labels, push buttons, uh, you can put a rotary. I mean, you play with it, there are so many things. I showed you earlier. So this is how they look. This is a rotary, this is a push button, this is a slider. So you can create all of that and you can label it. So I'm just gonna create a simple button here. It's gonna be a push button and you're gonna make it as big as you want and you can change the color. What's your favorite color, King? Orange. You got orange? orange. You go. We got orange, bro. There's orange. Oh, Boom. Man. There's your color right there. The geology push button right there. <laughs> okay, so now we need a label. Let's create a label. Horizontal. H stands for horizontal. Why is it giving it to me? Okay, maybe it is a, it's a vertical, hold on. Okay, you see the V is actually, that's fine. If we don't need this one, we delete it. So you take the label, make it a bit bigger. Okay, you type in stuff, whatever you wanna type in inside on the left side of the screen and we call it DJology. Boom. You can even put the science of DJing if you want. <laughs> there you go. Options. Uh, you can make it a little bigger by increasing the size. Let me pull this in a little bit so you see what I'm doing. So you see you can increase the size. You can change the color. You want red. You want to stay with orange. Orange it is. Boom. There you go. Bam. So there's your button right there. Center it. Make it pretty. Okay. So now we have a button. So that's how long it takes to create a button. Now that we have this. I'll show you something here. So this is the last page, right? It doesn't have the digiology button, okay? So what you need to do is, you need to, by the way, you need to also get the, the Touch OSC app for the iPad. So just go on the, on the store. I think it's free. I don't remember if I paid anything for it, but even if you did, it's not more than 10 bucks. Okay, so we need to update this template. So what you do is you press on this, white dot in the corner 
Uh, yeah, a hot dog button. You know what? If you can add, I don't think you can add, add artwork, but uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe if you use the rotary, it kind of looks like a twisted hot dog. Maybe that will think, make us think without a bun though. We don't have a bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We got trolls in the building. <laughs> oh, okay. watch out. Yeah, watch out. Um, we'll add the hot dog later. So, click <laughs> on this white dot. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can see much here. Can you see anything? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I have too much light. Okay. Now it's better. There you go. Okay, so you have to select the layout. Okay, click on the layout. And now you're gonna click add on top. And now it's gonna show, it's supposed to show. Come on, buddy. It's supposed to show my laptop, but it's not showing. Give me a second. Let me see if the, I have the... You guys both hooked to the same Wi-Fi? Yeah. Settings. That's the science of DJing. That is the science. Here I'm on, on 5G. Yeah, I'm supposed to be on the same. Let's see. For some reason, I mean, I know it's connected because it lets me uh, control it. Oh, I know why. Here's why. <laughs> My bad. Okay. So, you have to press sync. Duh. <laughs> you see this button here? Press uh. it. <laughs> oh, but one, okay. So, back to this template. You don't see the DJology button yet, right? Okay. So, now how do we add the button that we just created? Press on the sync button. Okay, now it's gonna tell you, okay, we're syncing. Boom. And now you go into the white button. Now go into the layout. Hold on, let me get it closer. Now go to layout, right, right here, add. And magic, boom, there it is. Do you want to, the existing layout will be overwritten. Yes, okay, press okay. Now go back and let's see if the button is there. Voila. There it is. There There's it the is. Okay, so that's your second step. But that button doesn't isn't assigned to any MIDI, is it? It's not assigned yet. So now we gotten from the three steps, we've done two. We've done the sequencer, we've done the touch OSC. Let's stop the sync. Okay. And it's gonna ask me. No, I'm gonna just minimize this. But a push button is a certain type of MIDI, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I'm gonna assign this, uh, let's say I'm gonna assign it to image or something. Let's do that. We'll, we'll fix something. Actually, hold on. Let me pull out the main panel. This one right here. So, you know what? How about we assign it to um, the face camera? Yeah, there it how is. about okay. that? There you go. Okay. Okay, so now the last thing to do, we need to assign it with a MIDI, but we also need to run the second program, which is the Osculator. Link coming up now. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. So Osculator so needs to be running too. Exactly. So you got to be running the Osculator. Here's the link in the chat. Bam. All right. If you got any ladies on the channel drinking right now, toot ones in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting into the Twitch DJ mode. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here's the Osculator. Boom. So this is Osculator. All right, it looks complicated, but it's not. When you turn it on, there's nothing here. This works together with the touch OSC editor. Now, when I press the Digiology button, you're gonna see something popping up here. So let's see that. So pay attention to the touch OSC, I mean the, the oscillator. I'm gonna press here 
And did you see on the bottom? I got a new channel, it's yellow. Okay, so when you press that, it just assigned it? Then it pops up there, and uh, now we have another channel. So the easiest way to do it, you just have to click here, say MIDI CC, and then you just gotta give it a different number than the ones that I'm using right now. So I think I'm up to 27, if I'm correct. So I'm gonna give it, you know what, I'm gonna give it a 30. Well, what's the digiology number? Is it 30? Sure, yeah. All right. So now when I press it, it's going to be green. Right? Okay, so that means it's... Uh... That means now it's active and it's ready to go. Yep. So the last thing to do is connect the button to Mix Emergency. So this is the last step. You click MIDI on Mix Emergency. And it tells you whatever's green has been already assigned. What's not green, we can assign. So I'm gonna assign the camera. I'm gonna click on it. And now it's ready to be assigned. I'm gonna click on this button. And now it's green. So now I'm gonna turn up the MIDI. Now I'm gonna let you admire the handiwork right here. All right, here we go. Turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Turn it on, and that's it, it's a sign. So this way I control my effects. Now, you cannot do the cube effect on your camera, just so you know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can try, let's see. So I go here, let's go here, rotate. Yeah, nothing happens. But yeah, the camera overrides off, everything. Yeah. Behind that, it's happening, right? So, that's it, crazy cubes multiple cubes turn it off um, so to recap basically what we did uh, we started off with uh, we started with the sequencer I showed you how to create a sequence it's basically uh, having the effects in a sequence that's the most fun part for me right now in mix emergency layer them up I showed you how to use a cube as the main layer but you can use any other effect as a layer and then layer over a few more other effects. Once you create the sequence, make sure you save it here in the FX Sequences uh, library. If you fill out all the uh, preset spaces, uh, we have Deft in the chat. Somebody says Deft. We got SF in the building. Make sure you leave one empty so you know how to, you have uh, something to turn it off. <clears throat> all right? So that's Mix Emergency. Second step. Get the Touch OSC editor, and uh, yeah, yeah, you're in the crate. <laughs> you can see it. Where's, where'd you see yourself? There's Knack, there's Callan. <laughs> oh shit, favorite video DJ guys. All right, let's close that up, I don't wanna. <laughs> I mean, you can watch, fuck it. You can, you can see it right here. Everybody knows who my favorite guys are. They're all here. Um, I haven't sorted. These are like, I went through like, uh, who I have the most videos from. I think I have like over 300 videos from cost and from depth. Uh, so anyway, um, so back to the program, original <laughs> programming. We create the sequencer, next step. I gave you the link to the website. Uh, get your touch OSC on editor, super simple. Put it on, create knobs, push buttons, whatever. Make sure you get that app on the iPad, press sync, so then it goes onto your iPad, and the last step is turn on the oscillator, press the button that you just created so it can show on here, assign the MIDI channel, put a number that hasn't been used, otherwise if you put the same number as some of these other ones, it's going to control two functions at the same time. So I can be pressing camera and text at the same time. So make sure it's a different number. And then lastly, go into Mix Emergency, press MIDI, and then assign the button to the a newly created button in, in Touch OSC. And that's it, my friend. That's how I do my uh, DJ sets, uh, all the effects through an iPad. Sequencer is programmed, and uh, yeah. Let's see, we have a question. I have to use Mix Emergency, but it costs uh how much does it cost now 
Uh, it cost me a hundred bucks four months ago to upgrade the latest version. It's worth it. I mean, dude, we spent a hundred bucks on BS. So a hundred bucks on something we're playing with, it's uh, definitely worth it. Yeah, thanks, Papa Post. So big shout out to Nick Feist uh, for uh, this great plugin. I mean, I love it. Um, one thing I would ask him to, to do is uh, when I'm programming the sequences, he only lets me, like if I show you the MIDI, you see they're all taken here. Okay. And uh, But it only lets me MIDI map once per library. So, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I'll explain it to you. If I if I click on the third on the third the library here, you see they're all empty. But if I press MIDI, they'll be green. You see? Oh. So I'm like, dude, why did you do that to me? So he's making me basically create. I can MIDI map the the sliders to the left and to the right, right? I can go watch how it moves. It went to one, right? But I have to use the same exact button. So you see how I'm labeling. I only use two libraries because you see the top one is for the first library, the bottom one is for the second library. So it's a little bit confusing to me. Ideally, I would have every different library would have its own buttons instead of uh, taking those 12 buttons just one time. You know what I mean? Did you talk to him at all about that? He's usually pretty responsive. Huh? Did you actually talk to him at all? I haven't, I haven't. I mean, I just got to creating this template. Until now, I only used one library. And then last week, I was like, you know what? Let me create another one. And then I got all uh, carried away with the cubes. And uh, then when I started to, to MIDI map the cube uh, presets, I realized, oh shit, they're taken. So I just have to go to another library. I have to remember which sequence overlaps with this. So if you start getting really creative and if you fill out all six libraries you're gonna have to put six labels on each button so if nick shout out to him if you can maybe uh, uh kind of split this so we can uh have a little more uh, i just uh like it's like you get a little more clarity how you operate it but if you're only using one library you, you're cool if you're happy with 12, 12 effects <laughs> i think if you you're josh Carl, Carl, but... i don't know how he does it yeah. <laughs> Josh Carl must have like a, the, the push button must be like this big and he just lists every single <laughs> preset on the cube. So yeah. <laughs> so I think I think uh, that's about it, man. I think uh, pretty much uh, we covered everything about the sequencer, how yeah, to that, map in and how to use it. That was great. Uh, did anybody have any? I had one question. Yeah, go ahead. I know that. A push button is different than a fader, and I saw that you had a fader in there. But how would you assign that? Uh, so it's basically the same thing. What you do is, let's say I open. So you cannot assign a fader to everything. A fader, you assign it to things that uh, actually have uh, things that you can fade with. So it's basically this uh, wheels here, right? Yep. So you can control this through a vertical, to a straight up fader, you can have a horizontal, a vertical, or through a rotary. So that's the fader thing. So you have a more fine tuned, like, okay. Do you treat it differently in touch OC? Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if uh, this fader here is a sign. Let's see, we'll do it real quick. So this one is a sign. No, it's not, it's red. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna go. So I have a fader here. Let's see if I press it. Oh, hold on. I need to... Oh, that's a sign. This one. Hold on. Um... Oh, I haven't given it a channel, of course. Okay, right here. Let's see what's, uh, what, there you go. So you see it's yellow. So we'll give it a 31. All right, because that's not taken. And now it's active. So when I go like this. Okay. Hold on. Now you can do assign it and that's it. I thought it would be more complicated than that. No, it's not, but it's not re-up. And now click it. And now, 
there it is perfect all right so now let's test it i'm gonna take the media out let's bring back the the screen all right let's turn off this effects <clears throat> it doesn't matter all right camera press the button Well, you hit the button, but the mix was on zero. Now you have to turn the mix up to the fader. Oh, you see? Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting confused. And now... There he is. Right? Oh. So you can use a rotary, or you can use, like, a horizontal. I can map this one here. You that see, one. I have the horizontal, vertical, and also the rotary. Rotary is kind of cool because it uh, corresponds completely to the one that's here. So you can either toggle it on and off, or you can go really nice and refined. That's dope. Like it right? So yeah, that's how you use those faders. Perfect. <laughs> that's great, man. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's, um, it looks very simple. There's a little bit of uh, work to be done, but uh, once you do all that homework, and the more you do it, the faster you're gonna go through it. You just have to dedicate a few hours in the day. Which well, I the believe cool thing is you can design it however you want it. Dude, I mean, yeah, totally. It comes with like uh, this thing, uh, the Touch OSC comes with uh, preloaded with uh, its native uh, It has template. some designs, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it has like 10 of them, at least. Okay. But you go to town and I created the ones that I wanted to correspond to Mixed Emergency. So. Got it. Yeah, pretty, pretty much that's about it. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Uh, I think we answered all the questions that we have. Um, yeah, man, I mean, everybody has mixed emergency, so now they just have to sit down and do a little bit of uh, homework on the sequencer. And we're gonna see a bunch of people now having uh, new sequences when they DJ. Well, personally, I, I, I know we went over it like a long time ago with the video conference. I never went back to it. Or yeah. I saw people using it and I was like, man, I don't even know how that works. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 no, I hear you. <laughs> now, now I do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh... there we go. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a nice little touch. It's a nice little touch to the to the video DJing. You know, now everybody's into the scenes and all of that. We forget that Mix Emerging has its own little, you know, tweaks and uh, you know, sprinkles of uh, creativity. But uh, yeah. If you put the uh, cool scenes with uh, some effects from the se sequences, sequencer, people are gonna be like, "What the hell is going on?" You know. Yeah. And I noticed like, not a lot of people were using it, and now now yeah. everybody will be. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad to share. Like well, I told you what got me going. I had it on my mind for the longest time, and I just saw Knack. He was my inspiration to to get into it. And uh, yeah, within uh, one day, I had my sequencer. You just have to find time to sit down and make it happen. It's yeah. all about finding time. Once you decide to make it, uh, things happen fast. Wow. So all those few presets were done like within uh, an hour or so. But and you, they're, you saw and they're very creative. To, to make <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoa, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, so, awesome. yeah. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If any questions, we're here for what, for another 60 seconds? Yeah, right. Uh, it hasn't been that many paid upgrades. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, he barely faced the upgrade. I think there was like one, maybe two. Upgrade, upgrade. on what? On the Mix Emergency? Mix Emergency, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think there are basically four upgrades. Are we on version four or we are still on the three? Three. three point something. Unless you're yeah. crushed and you got like the newest, newest, latest beta test thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I do. I cannot speak. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I hope to get on that list one day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, joking. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have the latest one, whatever is out there. And I'm glad to, you know, support. Because how many upgrades have we had? Like three, four? I don't even know. Yeah. And uh, we all use it. So it's definitely one software that is worth the purchase. Not, no questions asked. Just get it and... And even the older version might do a lot of this. Dude, it, I, I think I had the sequencer on 2.7.1. I was on that until until March, until the pandemic. Yeah. So what happened was 
I was, uh, for some reason, my videos were running hot because I was trying to stream and play everything from the same machine. So it wasn't that my computer, sure, my computer is older, but it was running hot because I was getting too much video processing. So Nick suggested, why don't you try the new version? So sure, I tried it. I mean, I love it. There's an option or two more or three. And uh, it was still running hot. So what it was, was that I need a second computer. I have a dual setup. Oh, stream. you were running everything for one computer? I was running everything for one. I'm like, Nick, what is happening here? Why is my computer... It mix emergencies is it's the fault of mixed emergency. It's killing my my CPU. But it was I had too many processes uh, killing the CPU. So you were running OBS, a green screen, mixed exactly CPU. everything in one in one computer. And I thought it was the mixed emergency because it kept showing one of the top items was mixed emergency. Oh, got it. Got and it. he said, uh, "Yeah, get the new one." So I tried it. It ran smoother. That's for sure. But uh, I need a dual setup, and that kind of fixed everything. Now I'm running smooth on everything. You need to be free to get on that bike, buddy. Huh? <laughs> you need to be free when you're on the bike. That's Can't be free right. Your computer overheating when you're overheating. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Callan. Rule number one: we don't talk about Pipe Club. <laughs> rule number two. So yeah. Yeah. Well, Spazzy, I'd like to thank you for your time, and I'm yeah, sure. Man. Everybody here is going to get a lot out of this. I mean, that My pleasure, really dude. cool stuff. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, thank you. I want to thank you for having me. And uh, I mean, thanks to the geology. Honestly, I learned so much well, because uh, you guys put those uh, tutorials online. And uh, I told you the other day, I just love learning. But so every week I hear something like, when was it? Like a month ago, the VMAX thing, right? With the GeForce and uh, Evan Clark. Yeah. And uh, I watched that thing briefly, and then I kind of watch them a week later, and then I take action. And then within, within like few days, I had VMAX, I had Evan Clark. <laughs> like, I need this, I'm gonna learn this. And then I set a goal within few days to have the VMAX running with the pretty stage ready for the stream wars. Oh, wow, so, that's great. Yeah. That's how it happened. It's like, dude, DJology. Number one, baby. Put this in your promo. All the right. science of DJing. DJology. Keep Number one. <laughs> Cut that out. So, yeah. Uh, I'm getting a lot from you guys. And it's like free information. It's a community that, uh, you know, keeps giving. And uh, I love being part of uh, groups where we share knowledge. And we basically improve each other's game. So if I can give like 1% of improvement to anybody else's game in this community. I'm like, hell yeah, please. So that, that's what I have for today, man. Thanks for uh, hosting this uh, work. <laughs> well, thanks, Faze. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your knowledge. I'm sure we'll all tune in to watch you on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Music for hey, the DJs as well. Quick plug in, my, 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 spinning, my spinning channel. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash DJ Spaze if you want to watch the cycling. There you go. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Yeah, make sure to put some more links in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll put them in. That's right. one link I wasn't ready to put it in. I'll oh, no. It in. Oh, well, well, it'll be up there for a while. Put your yeah, link yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, thanks, guys. Man. Yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Thank you, Spazza. We're going to go ahead and sign off. And, of course, this will make it to the YouTube channel probably a week from now. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Later, guys. Bye.